Brandon, thank you. My family was no exception. My brother-in-law, who's kind of nerdy software guy, got the Oculus. We all played with it and interacted with it yesterday, including my four-year-old son, which then I read after is a big no-no. So parents, don't, don't do that to your kids. And here's my question, my biggest takeaway. Sure. Like, it, it was fun. I could play basketball in the metaverse, which I, I'm not really good at basketball in person. But do you need a VR headset made by Facebook to engage in the metaverse? Because you don't have to do that with Roblox. No, I don't believe you do at all. I think that um, it's natural for Facebook Meta to lean into um, into VR because that's the asset that they have that will be a part of the metaverse going forward. But I think it's just one way that people are going to interact in 3D space in the future. And you're still, mobile is still gonna play a big role in that. People aren't gonna have headsets all over the world where technology lags. And personally, I don't think any of us, you could tell me what you thought, um, but any of us really feel that comfortable that they want to sit and wear a headset, you know, 24 hours a day, like you do in Ready Player One or some dystopian film. Definitely not. No, I, it was like 15 minutes and then I was good and starting to get dizzy and feeling a, a little <laughs> lonely, even though there were people around me in the rec room in, in the metaverse. Brandon, so what is the single best stock play for 2022 if, if you are bullish on this space? Yeah, we're bullish on the space. And don't get me wrong, I think that Facebook is going to um, have a place. I think that VR will be a tool in the metaverse. But Roblox is the real, really the one company that has built out the building blocks of the metaverse at this point, um, where there is a true developer flywheel with thousands of experiences being created for people to hang out in 3D interactive space. And we believe that they're going to be able to gradually, very gradually age up as some of the developer tools get more interesting and you start to see real photo realism in those experiences. My question, Brandon, particularly as it relates to the mega caps or at least the big caps, uh, you know, companies that, that are worth hundreds of billions, are any of them at the moment going to get totally left behind? Are any of them missing uh, the next stage of tech innovation so, so wildly that we could see huge market caps collapse? No, I think, I mean, if you look across the mega caps, they all are going to have a role um, in the quote metaverse, if that ever does exist. Um, Amazon and Microsoft um, are a very important part of the communications infrastructure. Um, even cable companies, they're probably going to have to upgrade their plants, are providing the broadband pipes um, for, for these experiences. Um, and Facebook, as we just said, has Oculus, which we believe will play a role. And Apple's devices still have massive market share and will continue to. So because you really like Roblox, Brandon, I was wondering if just how big their first mover advantage really is and what their moat is. Or could it be a situation where some of the, the pioneers of the Internet, like an AOL, are, are no longer the rulers right now? Yeah, I mean, we wrote something um, or maybe about a month ago where we actually compared Roblox to AOL. The difference is that Roblox, while it's a very closed ecosystem, is built to scale. That that UGC and now professional um, creator flywheel that's in place continues to create new and bigger experiences which are onboarding new people into uh, onto the platform. Um, we believe that Epic Games, um, of course, when they launch um, uh, create Fortnite Creative 2.0 and Meta will have a place and they may cut Roblox off at the knees in terms of aging up. Um, Roblox needs to move quickly on that. Um, but we think Roblox is going to have a strong place and could be a multi-hundred billion dollar company, even if they don't fully age up.